Hello friends, this video is about constructed delegation and if you have followed my MCQ question series then you will be knowing what is this, okay? So if you know this, skip this video. I have created this video for those people who don't follow my MCQ questions. So let's look at this, what is this constructed delegation is. So you created this B1, B1 end up calling this one and again from base you are calling another base with the default values. Okay, so that default values are coming here. Okay, I'll just separate out so that it will be very easy for you to see. See, this is a default call. I mean, this one is default call, this B1. And after that, B1 is calling this base with the parameters. So this is another constructor call and that constructor is this one. So that 0 and 0 is coming and you are initializing that x and y with 0, 0. Okay, and the same is happening with this one also like B2, you're passing one value and that is end up calling this one and that A is passed to that constructor here and that B is having this default value. So we delegate the constructor like this, like you're calling this base and that base, I mean the default constructor is calling the parameterized constructor with the default values. Okay, and why we did like this? Just because we don't want it to write this initialization part again and again. Okay, this is very trivial. I mean, it is looking like you could have just simply written this part here and assigned like a to x and 0 to y and here 0 to x and 0 to y. But no guys, it is looking very simple. But let's suppose you are calling a base constructor. I mean the default constructor here and in this case, you are having let's suppose 10 to 15 lines of code for initializing this x and y okay there is some mathematical function which is getting the value depending on the input okay and at last here somewhere you are doing this x is equal to let's say some value some value 1 and underscore y is equal to let's suppose some value 2 okay so think if you are passing 0 0 I mean if it is default constructor then you would have taken some default value and did your calculation and assigned this underscore x and underscore y. So in this situation you have to keep this whole calculation part in each and every constructor here okay. This should have come in here also here also and let's suppose here also. So you are doing code blotting here you are writing unnecessary code two three times okay instead of doing this you could have simply written that heavy lifting part and what do i mean by heavy lifting means heavy lifting is nothing but assignment okay so you do the heavy lifting here at one place and call that constructor from rest of the constructor like default constructor and parameterize other parameterized constructor which, which is not getting all the values like this okay so no need to write this heavy lifting part here here and all the constructors okay so i think i made my point here and it makes sense okay so if you like the video please like it will help me a lot okay and yeah if you have any questions please ask i'll be very happy to explain that okay oh my god i didn't run this program right oh my god i will just simply run this in order to show you that it is a valid code okay constructor delegation compile successfully running then 0 0 10 0 10 20 b b2 b3 okay so it is a valid code okay let's look at the next video now